Pre-implantation genetic screening is an excellent tool to be used by couples that fit into a couple different categories. Some women are older and we know that the chances of having an embryo that is chromosomally abnormal are higher. So using pre-implantation genetic screening can help us identify which embryos are chromosomally normal and transfer those uh, earlier on in the process. Also for women that might have many embryos to choose from, but again are approaching the age at which we think that embryo quality starts to diminish as far as having a normal chromosome number. In pre-implantation genetic screening, a procedure is done called embryo biopsy, and the embryos are identified under the microscope, and then a small laser is used to separate some of the cells that are surrounding the embryo and taken off and sent away for genetic analysis. And those cells can give us information about whether the cellular makeup of the embryo is chromosomally normal or abnormal. There have been no conclusive studies to show that doing an embryo biopsy affects long-term pregnancy outcomes. A lot of people are confused by the terminology that's used in the pre-implantation genetic screening uh, literature. So when you hear the words aneuploid, that means that the chromosome number is not normal. Normally, we inherit 23 chromosomes from mom and 23 from dad, and that's considered genetically euploid, or normal chromosome number. When you hear the words aneuploid, that means that the chromosome complement is abnormal. It has had an abnormal number of chromosomes inherited from each parent. So when a report comes back with an embryo that's aneuploid or chromosomally abnormal, the chances of that embryo successfully implanting are greatly reduced. Most aneuploid embryos do not have chromosome makeups that are compatible with life. I think pre-implantation genetic screening is an excellent tool for women to use when they are at higher risk of having miscarriages, maybe because their age is a little bit older or they've had multiple miscarriages in the past. Pre-implantation genetic screening helps us identify embryos that are chromosomally normal earlier on in the process, and for those women, pre-implantation genetic screening can be particularly helpful. Or for instance, when they have to use a gestational carrier and they want to ensure that the, the embryo that we're placing back is chromosomally normal.